So, um, it's a little bit late in the morning. It's around nine. I was supposed to get up three hours ago and I didn't, but that's okay. I'll do what I was going to do in this morning, this evening. But anyway, um, this week's reading challenge is going to be reading books that are only under 200 pages. So I decided to pick two adult books and two kids books. And then I have a book at work that I can read. It's like a, a little kid's book. It's a picture book. Um, but I'll show you that at work. Uh, and I can probably get that done today. So I'm probably going to have to bring one of these. But anyway, the first ones are going to be the adult books and it's Roverundum, The Time Machine, The Treasure of Way Deep Down, and Almost Magic. All of these are under 200 pages or just at 200 pages. Um, and I was supposed to start this last night. Um, however, I got very carried away playing, uh, old man's journey and I did not start any books so we'll start them probably tonight because I'm I'm not sure that I have the energy to read at the moment I am very tired <laughs> um but yeah so that's the challenge we'll see how well I do even if I only get like two books done it still counts So it's Thursday morning and I just managed to finish the first book. Yay! So I finished The Time Machine and the story would have been fine if for not the way that it was written, really. So the book is basically one giant monologue of the, the time machine the time traveler, whatever, time traveler 
telling a bunch of aristocrats um, about his adventure instead of just showing the adventure and that gets really annoying. <laughs> I don't like that kind of narrative. Um, if it's in the story, fine. If it's the entire story, so, the entire story is him talking about his adventure, and I would have much rather just seen the adventure, and it felt like a marathon style of him explaining what happened, as well as it felt like it took years to get anywhere at all. It took three days to read a book that's 115 pages. It's, this should have taken one, but because it's so... What is it? What's wrong? But because of the way it's written, you you trudge through it. It's not, you don't like it either, did you? No, you didn't like it either. He didn't like it either. So my ending stars was two. Um, I just, I hated the way it was written with a passion. Um, the next book that I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be starting tonight, is going to be Roverundum. I still need to finish the book that I was reading at work because I only read it for about five minutes. And it's a little bit longer than five minutes worth of reading. It's the Persian Cinderella. So I'm going to try to finish that one today and start Roverundum tonight because I, Roverundum, I think, is about a dog. And I think that'll be really fun. I just got my Rune Fair hat. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I actually quite like it. It's very, um, it's very Lady Dimitres, which I'm perfectly happy with. And especially because it's supposed to sit on the side of your head. So all I need to do is like pull this up a little bit. And it's very movable. But yeah, it's very cute. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, please excuse the shaking. My hand is kind of shaking um anyway this is the end of the video it is monday morning and my next video starts pretty much now um what did i get done i read three books i read the time machine which took me three days and it should not have i gave it two stars i read rover random which took me two days because i started it very very late um in the evening and i gave it four stars and i read the persian cinderella which i read at work and I gave that one three. So, um, I gave my thoughts already on the time machine. It's way too dense for how short it is. Um, and just generally terribly narrated. It's very annoying. I did not like it at all. I gave it two, two stars because there were some mildly interesting, like, things in it. And I felt like giving it one would be slightly unfair. But it's not good. I don't recommend it at any rate. At all. Um, and then the Persian Cinderella was very cute, very quaint, exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was Cinderella, but set in Persia. Um, <laughs> and the pictures were pretty, so nothing surprising, nothing really to, like, shout out. It was okay, it was good, three stars. Roverandum, however, was fantastic. It was a wonderful book. Um, it did not read like a classic, I will tell you that. It used very common language. Um, you could easily still read this to your kids and they would understand what was happening. Uh, it is super cute, super sweet. Um, probably one of my favorites. It makes me want to read other stuff of his that doesn't take place in, in, uh, Middle Earth just to see what he, what kind of things, what kind of things he was writing. Um, I really, really liked it. Highly, highly recommend. I gave it four stars. Um, the other two books that I was supposed to read, which were, uh, Almost Magic and The Treasure of Weighty Down, will be rolled over into the next video, um, and I am excited and looking forward to reading them as well. I hope you enjoy that video, too. Um, so, what is the moral that we learned here? One, don't pick a 115-page novella. It's not even a novella, it's a short story, um, where the entirety of the story is told through narration of a man talking to a bunch of aristocrats because it's annoying and it takes way too long to read. Two, 
don't start a day late and don't start at like 9 p.m. a day late because then it's going to take you three days to read that super annoyingly dense 115 page short story um, and then you're not going to have time to read everything that you wanted to. And thirdly, um, short books are pretty great and people need to read them more often. I feel like there is this like holy light shining on the 300 plus page books and there are some fabulous, fantastic, amazing 300 plus paged books. But there's something to be said for books that are 200 pages or less, little short stories, little novellas that are incredibly interesting, incredibly fun to read. I might keep it to where I'm reading the short books physically and listening to the big ones. We don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try and read a big book pretty soon and we'll see how big, how well that goes. But anyway, that is all for the video. Those were the morals of the lesson. I don't know if the, you, you should call them that, but that's what I learned this week. <laughs> And I will see you next week. Have a good evening, afternoon, or morning, depending on when you're watching this. And until next time, happy reading. Bye!